I'm Yana Shengyuar, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to go over a quick segment for the final dot big. Previously, I showed you how to extract the files. This time, I'm going to show you how to make your own dot big archive. It's real simple. So let's jump on in. As you see right here, it is already uh, pretty much set up how the uh, way this would work. You just go to file new dot big archive when you uh, gives you the option and then you go to edit add directory when you get to that point. So what this actually looks like, see I have the dot big, you know, you see the grayness right here. You don't have anything open. You just opened up the program. Just go to new and as you see, it says dot big archive, Hit, click OK. And then you're going to go to edit and you're going to come all the way down and you can click add directory and then at this point you are just going to go and find uh, where your uh, game is mine's actually found in program files x86 maybe that's where yours will be too all right so as you can see i have multiple zero hour directories this is how i actually mess around and such and so we're just going to go open it up and in this case we I just have you just have a data folder however if you have a lot of editing because archives can only be so big you would do each individual folder you don't have to do each individual folder you can just do like say I and I is one folder English is another audio is another because they'll be uh, the biggest ones of the, all the files so the important part is uh, and then give it a second to add everything and then as you can see it has everything all right here so as you can see the important part as i was saying is the actual line so as you see it's the data folder audio sounds and it will show you the directory line has all the way down and that's the reason why I said it that it's important is because we, when you re-extract this it will re-extract this as the placement so if you were going to add the other files or folders individually you gotta keep in mind that it may not it, it may just start for example if you just did the INI folder it would only do INI slash and then all the files instead of doing data slash I and I. That's an important distinction you should pay attention to when you are adding. All right, let me show you what I mean by that real fast. So I'm just going to do the same thing instead of doing the data folder. I'm just going to do the I and I folder. And as you see right here, the directory is I and I slash instead of data slash I and I, which means that this is not going to read a properly when you actually load up the game so if you were to extract it for example this would create an INI folder in your directory instead of creating it in the, the data folder that is important distinction so keep that part and then you go to file save as I recommend saving it with a zero or perhaps a uh, exclamation point this will help keep it at the top of your directory list but also at the same time it will help with keeping it so it reads your mod first over everything no matter what and that's all you really need to do it is that simple don't forget to place it in the directory when you're done and now you have a mod that's a dot big archive just like the original game and other modders congratulations general See you around. Until next time. Yanis Yang, you are out.